my best come here. Welcome to It's Hiding in the Woods. This is an indie horror game I found on Itch.io. Well, all I saw was a thumbnail and I instantly know I had to take a look at it and find out what this game is all about. Hopefully this game is a, a decently long game. I know it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video today, but I was going to do an episode of Minecraft, but I did a lot of stuff today, so I didn't really feel up to doing it. So, yeah, I hope you guys don't mind me this too much We're complaining. The little indie horror game. Mike. Hey, listen to me, Josh. Just listen to me. Okay, Mike, what is it? What is it? Mike! Tell me! What's up? Yeah! Oh my god, this is gonna be like a PowerPoint slot. It's gonna take forever to go to the next line of dialogue. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Yeah, what's up? Oh, I guess you do hit the space ball. I got a really special idea for the next YouTube video. Oh boy, does that involve going in the woods? I thought it would be the best time to tell you. I thought the best time to tell you that about about that is at 2 a.m. Will we can make it 3 a.m. Will we can make it the good old 3 a.m. challenge? Dude, I found this old hotel in the middle. Of what? Wisa? What even is that? Forest near Wisa. Sure. People say the spooky events happen there. I want to catch some of that with my phone. Oh, are you gonna look like that? That's not a good idea, man. Do you believe me? This is true. How old are you? If I got some real, f if I get some real good footage on my channel, it's gonna explode. Oh yeah, so that's never gonna work. What do you want to call it? Call me when you're done, okay? Okay. Is this Josh or Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Text me when you're alive, there. Oh boy. Have fun, bro. But never call me again at two a.m. I want to sleep. Okay, sure. I guess I responded last night. Oh, he probably did. I better check if he's okay. Probably go to the hotel and probably die. Check Mike and that's a very interesting bed. And oh, you gotta know, clean up your sheets, man. You should probably clean up your sheets. So is that the panel on the sheets? Because if that's a very weird panel, I did my nice little ocean painting. Too bad it's probably not gonna help me out too much. Oh, you have a nice modern bathroom. Push the toilet. Can I push the toilet? Oh boy, I can. Can I wash my hands? Nope, just flush the toilet, apparently. Apparently, I forgot to do it this oh, earlier today. And boy, that's a weird city that we're living in right now. Oh boy, what's that? What's that? Something soda? Okay, sure. Can I watch TV? Turn the radio. Turn off the radio. Yeah, I don't want to start standing. Okay. Oh boy, this is a nice house. Too bad I'm probably not gonna ever see it again if this if any other horror game has told me that. Oh boy. Oh we have a cutscene and everything. This game is actually a little bit more high reduction quality. I was looking it to be like a crap game, but man, this actually has been surprising me. So far, oh boy, it's nighttime. I have to find Mike. Or not, just leave him behind. Leave him behind. Like there's no road here. Why are you? What do you mean? What? Woodwind will treat. Woodwind will treat. I meant to say. Oh boy. That box of trees. This reminds me of all Swind of the Eight Pages. The O O G Swind of the Eight Pages. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. I thought it was a face. I legitimately thought that was a face, though, but it wasn't. I think this is a hotel. Looks more like a build. I guess it is a little bit of a hotel. Oh boy! Yep. That's more what I was expecting. Lots of jump scares. Oh boy. Can open up any of the drawers? Nope, we can't. Okay, sure. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Anyone outside? I saw a face. <laughs> like, if you wonder what the phone that was, it was essentially a face. That was like a creepy face, which I saw that and was like, I had to check this game out. Oh, what happened back in that area of the place? Oh boy. Oh boy. The character went in here. Maybe I should go out and take a look at the back. Let's do that real fast. Let's take a look at the ruined part of the building. See what goes down back there. I wonder what happened to this place. I wonder. Oh, it's like a ba abandoned shed. Oh boy. Oh no, Mike! What happened to you? Get away from this place now. Oh boy. 
They killed Mike and stack him in the abandoned shed. It... What? What? Oh, a lock. What happened? Where am I? Did I pass out? Or something died? I died. Oh, boy. What? Um. Oh, I have to find the code. Die, 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 die. Oh, boy. All right. A1. Hmm. Did to find the code? A1? I'm gonna assume that's that. Okay, can I find the rest of these codes? Hmm. In your notes, there's A1. Can I crouch? Yes, I can indeed crouch. In your notes, oh boy. Oh boy, anything else? Any other notes? I gotta look out for notes. Can I open drawers? No, apparently not. A1? Was I supposed to find something else? Somebody told me I was supposed to find something else. Oh boy. Oh, upstairs, apparently. Okay, great. Have been, been. Alright, well, it's telling me it's A1, but there was no letter, so I'm gonna assume A means most of the alphabet, and I'm just gonna. I guess it just blindly guess. See what I can get. I guess I'm gonna go through all the numbers, I guess. Just gonna do that. Just go through all the numbers blindly because apparently that won't give me one note to solve this puzzle with. Is this seriously not another note anywhere? Like I don't. What does A one mean? Oh, A one. What does that mean? Oh, is it die. Oh, is it telling me the fourth letter of the alphabet. So E will be five, and I'm gonna assume die. Maybe so that will be four. I don't know what letter it is I, but I probably could figure that out. Okay. So that will be four. That will be five. If I'm trying to spell out the word die on this lock. Oh, I did. Oh, I was actually cover. We got hammer. Oh boy, hammer time. Oh great. Um, can I open? Okay, let's see. Can I move barricades? Uh, what was this here? We have a candle. Didn't get a chance to explore this room earlier. Let's, let's see what else is here. Oh, um, hi, Mister. Oh boy, it is really eerie. There's not a whole lot of sound in this game. Oh, can't go up higher apparently. Someone got barricaded up with a foot and all more apparently. Okay, sure. Thing else is move, I guess. I can run. Oh, oh, just forget about. Don't oh, forget about the flashlight. Forget about the flashlight. Are we almost there? Our call. Hey, just go. Just go. Pound. Hey, and just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Nope. What? Okay. What? I don't go back to my call. Was I? Did I miss something? Do I have to go get Jaws' dead body, apparently? Okay. I can do that. It's really eerie, actually. Like, usually whole games like to put in a little bit of sound or ambient noise or some sort of thing, but... Something about no sound just only adds to the tail, actually. It feels really eerie now. Um, um, is it, did I miss something? I think I broke the game. You know, I'm missing something. Oh, the door is now closed. Great. Can I ever go back in here ever again? Great. Thanks, game. Let me go back to my call. Are you gonna destroy my call? Um. Can I just leave? Just leave. Just leave. Just leave. Okay, maybe I have to try the other door. There we go. Okay. That was an interesting jump scale. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Girls, like, not a bad game. Like, I did. I, I would add a lot more sound effects, in my personal opinion. I feel like this game needs a lot more sound effects and maybe some ambient music because it was really, really odd being all quiet. But I did like the game. It did have a few scales in it. It was, I don't know what to expect, I just saw the thumbnail, which I think is like the best part of this game. <laughs> and it gets you interested, but even though the game is not really the great, but hey, it's cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that if you want to see more games like this, let me know. And next time, I should game of the max.